Hey, what is going on guys? In this video, I'm super excited to share with you how it is that you can do effective trend analysis of financial statements for stocks and pretty much any particular companies with a bit of a twist and some techniques that are going to make it a lot more effective and that you probably haven't seen anywhere else. That being said, let's get to it. Okay, so before we get into the actual trend analysis of financial statements, the question that comes up is how do you get the financial statements in the first place? The answer is if you are doing the analysis for your own company, you might already have them. And if not, there's tons of videos you can watch on how it is that you can structure your company's financial statements. Now, the focus of this video is how do you do it for stocks or publicly traded companies? So for that, that's when Ysheets comes into place. Ysheets is an Excel and Google Sheets add-on that you can download. Um, you can get a free account on the link in the description. But basically the way it works is once you have it installed and you log in with the account that you created, you can enter any company you like, either the name or the ticker. Um, and then you select annual or quarterly data. So in this case, let's do annual data standardized financials or SEC as reported financials and then you click on get data and what you're gonna see is that you're gonna get the income statement the balance sheet the cash flow statement the key metrics all this ones and the financial growth metrics going back all the way to 2003 without having to copy paste or do any of the work yourself now that you have the financial setup on your spreadsheet everything else becomes a lot more simple so one of the things that i recommend that you do right away is to create a new column on any financial statement item so in this case Usually for trend analysis, you focus mostly on the income statement, although you could also do it for the other items of the financial statement. What you do after is you go on insert, spark lines, column, and then you select the data that you like uh, the spark line to show. So in this case, it's gonna be this data. Click okay. And as you can see, this is going to give you a cool visualization so you can see exactly what the revenue is doing. Is it growing? Is it shrinking? Uh, what years is doing what? This is really valuable information. And the best part is that you can then drag it down. So that way you could see the same for all the different items of the financial statement. In this case, the income statement remember you can set this thing up for each of the financial statements so in this case i have already done that and once you have that complete then what i recommend that you do is that you look at the most important items of the financial statement so in this case i've highlighted them um, and i bolded them so you can see what are some of these and the important thing here is to look at the trend um, is the number growing is it shrinking and then to be able to do some research or if you already have that research perhaps what you want to do is write some comments as to the reasons or the hypothesis that you may have um, for why the number is growing why is it shrinking and what is the likely trend that the number is going to take in the future and this is something that you can do across the different financial statements so in this case, for the balance sheet, some of the most important items are obviously the current assets, non-current assets, total assets, uh, total current liabilities, total non-current liabilities, total liabilities, and obviously um, the shareholders' equity. So these are very important numbers that you want to pay a lot of attention to and take notes um, as to why do you think that the different trends are showing up. The same thing with the cash flow statement. Here are the most important items highlighted. Uh, one thing that I pay special attention to is the free cash flow because as you know, if a company runs out of cash, it basically it's running out of blood and at that point it's gonna die. So you really have to monitor the companies that you invest or that you're looking to invest to make sure that they have a healthy cash flow that it's growing ideally and that is sustainable over time. Now, another key component of 
uh, trend analysis over time is to analyze the growth of a company. So as you saw before, you can get this with Y sheets. And the cool thing is that you can get the date and you can get multiple very important uh, metrics and you can see the growth or the negative growth of a particular company over time. So you can select that, click on insert, and then you can do a line chart. And as you can see, this will help you to determine the pattern of different items uh, of the financial statement. So in this case, we can see that for the most part, the operating cash flow growth is pretty healthy, which is really what you want to see in a good stock. Um, revenue growth um, has been pretty consistent over time. Um, the gross profit growth uh, has also taken a jump. Uh, this could be due to Apple working on new initiatives to reduce those direct costs. And of course, depending on your data, you're going to come up with different conclusions, list them out, and that way you can share your analysis with somebody. One of the fundamental aspects of trend analysis is to be able to calculate the percentage growth or the percentage decrease of a particular value. So you may not have uh, the values already calculated like we have here for Apple. If you need to calculate them yourself, it's very simple. All you have to do is equals and then you enter in brackets the most recent value minus the previous value. All of this divided by the previous value. So that's the formula that you really need to nail down and memorize. And then all you have to do is click enter, make sure that it's a percentage. And you will see in this case that from this year to this year, the revenue increased 33%. You can also drag it across multiple years. So that way you get an idea of the trend in more detail. And the great thing about this is that you can also do this, not just for actual numbers, but also for percentages. Um, but in that case, that's more easy because it's already calculated. So you would just take the difference between the two numbers. So you get the absolute number here. Drag it across, bolded, and there you go. The other reason why I like the cash flow statement so much is because um, with the cash flow statement, well, first you see the different items here, but you're going to see an image on top of the screen that's going to explain the different patterns of the cash flow. So, for example, if you see a company that has positive cash flow from the operating activities, positive cash flow from the investing activities and positive cash flow from the financing activities. The interpretation is that the company is building its cash base and it's highly liquid. Uh, if you see on the other hand that the operating activities, the investing activities and the financing activities are all negative, that means that the company is burning through cash reserves to cover shortfalls and pay creditors slash investors. So these different cash flow patterns are really important to be able to determine what stage is the company at and what are they trying to achieve? Are they a growing company? Are they shrinking? Are they investing a lot? Um, are they paying a lot of debt? Are they paying uh, investors? Uh, these are very valuable ways to analyze uh, the financial statements and the cash flow statement of a company over time. The last analysis technique that I want to share with you is the as percentage of revenue technique. So basically the way it works is that you take the revenue. So equals the revenue divided by the revenue. And we're going to lock in this cell right here. So that way all items of the financial statement, in this case, the income statement um, is divided by the revenue. So that way we know what percentage of the revenue that item makes. This is particularly important if you're trying to make projections into the future so you can see what the pattern was in the past and what it's likely to be in the future. So as you can see in terms of the revenue, it's 100% because if you divide one number by another, so it's going to be one, which is 100%. But the interesting thing is it allows you to see the other items such as the cost of revenue that in this case we know it's 58% of revenue, uh, the gross profit 42%. Operating expenses make up 12% of the revenue, operating income 30%, and then the net income is about 26%. You can do this for many years as well. So all you have to do is 
drag the formula so we'll do it for this year's uh, make sure that you change the revenue and the formula here so in this case everything has to go down and same for this year then after you do that double click to auto fill and even better you can do the change between the two quantities so you insert a cell and then you do the difference so you take this number subtract it by this so you get the percentage difference if I do this then you will see the differences so in this case this went down this went up uh, this was negative this was negative the cool thing is that to make to help you make your analysis more colorful and more simple to digest you can use conditional formatting so in this case highlight cell, cell rules you can do greater than and for example if the cell is greater than zero we can do green and then we'll create another rule less than if it's less than zero it's gonna be red now the only thing to keep in mind is that some of this logic might not make sense because like uh, for example the stuff here if it decreases is better because there's more profit but for other items is the opposite so just keep that in mind but this is just an example and a general rule that you can use so there you go now you can do your trend analysis of financial statements like a true professional just keep in mind this stuff takes time uh, the more you practice it the better you get at it now if you have any questions on the subject just please let me know in the comments below and let me know what other videos you would like to see we want to create a lot of content for you guys and we're excited to help you make better investment decisions that being said i'll see you in the next video